Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to play Minecraft VR using the Vive headset. If you have an Oculus Rift, you can just download the Windows 10 version of Minecraft and you can just play it natively without having to do anything else. But if you have a Vive, you have to actually download the old version of Minecraft, the one from Minecraft.net, and then you have to go through this extra process. I'll be showing you this process in this video. Let's get started. So first of all, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher after you downloaded it from the Minecraft.net website. And um, you have to make sure that you have the latest version. Um, it should say at the beginning what version you have. Let me go ahead and launch it so I can show you. Crash. That was weird. Okay, so at the very bottom, it will show you the Minecraft version 1.12.2. So once you know the version, go ahead and go to this website. It is vivecraft.org. And then at the top right corner, there's a button that says downloads. And then you'll see the instructions here, the installation, the requirements, and the downloads. You will need the client version, so look for the Minecraft version that you have. In this case, we have the 1.12.2, um, so go ahead and click on this one or whatever the latest one is at the time of this video. And it will take you to a GitHub website. You will need to download the installer. So it's only 4 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. It's already done so go ahead and open it up and if you have your minecraft installed on the regular folder you shouldn't have to change anything here so you just need to go ahead and um, create a vivecraft launcher profile you can add all this extra stuff if you want but you don't really need any of this so just go ahead and click install Okay, so that was it. Let me go ahead and set up my Vive really quickly and then I'll show you how, what else to do from there on. Once you install Vivecraft, open up the Minecraft launcher. And then you'll notice that the play button is actually labeled as Vivecraft. If you want to change it, you can click on the arrow on the side and change it to the latest release. Um, but as soon as you click the play button, your Vive will turn on. But I need to pause the video because there's some audio issues when I'm recording because it switches over to the headset. So I need to change that up before I keep the video going. So let me go ahead and pause the video for a second. Okay, so I have the headset on. I don't know if you can hear me very well. The microphone on the headset is really bad quality compared to my computer's microphone. But let me go ahead and click play so you can see what happens. Okay, so the Mojang application actually opens up. It will show the Steam VR here. And you need to turn on your controllers at this point. Okay, so let me prepare. Okay, so let me go ahead and lower the music. There we go. You can create a new world. Okay, so you can actually jump just by jumping. 
but you can move around just like on any Vive app, like usual teleporting. got your menu here to craft you can actually swim by moving your hands but yeah as you can see everything works just fine you can play just like a normal game except on VR. So, thank you guys for watching.